I'm going to be showing you how to use the replace command. Now first, how did this get down here? Um, well apparently, that is very interesting. Sorry, I just had to check that out. That is a very strange tree in the ground. And luckily I have this here to mark the tree that I'm supposed to be replacing. There we are. So, I want to replace the leaves with diamonds. It's a very simple command. It's just a fill command. And I'm going to be using tilde to do it around my player. Now, first let me explain just how, how it works very basically. So we have just a square. So we select our first point, we can select our second point. Now because I'm on the computer, um, like on the PC edition of Bedrock, that does mean I do get a tab completion. So if you have a keyboard and mouse on Xbox or something else, you can do tab completion um, wherever you're looking. It's also right here if you just want to look at it. Uh, so we can do a tab completion, um, or just get the, the coordinate of the block. And we can do the next spot and uh, do it like this. And get the next section, which unfortunately currently is a teleport. Uh, so somehow I messed that up. So let's get the first section again. So we're doing a fill, we're doing a tab completion, just like that. We're gonna go back up here, we're gonna do our fill command, and we're doing another tab completion, or just get the location um, however you need to, and we can do stone, for example. Now something you need to keep in mind is that uh, having the correct block type is important, because if you change this number right here, it goes from this kind of stone that we have in front of us to this kind of stone to this kind of stone. It changes very drastically, very quickly. So depending on what you're doing, you will have to be sort of careful here because uh, the kind of stone can change very quickly. Now let's do our fill command. Now we're going to be doing it using the tilde. I prefer doing a 10 block uh, sort of cube around myself. I'm doing 10, 10, negative 10, negative 10, negative 10. So we have 10, 10, 10, negative 10, negative 10, negative 10. And we can do, for example, diamond block, zero, so that is the block type. We're doing replace leaves with no block type to select all leaves. Now something you'll notice here, which I forgot about, is this is actually the incorrect leaf type. This specific kind of leaf, I'm pretty sure, is in leaf two, or leaves two. So we need to replace it explicitly like that, doing leaves two. So you have to be careful what section that your blocks are in. If you want to specify a certain kind of leaf, then you also have to do, you know, the number, which I believe typically only goes up to 16. Not always, unfortunately. They're not very consistent with it, but that is perfectly fine. Uh, so we're going to be doing replace again, and we're going to be doing that with log instead. Now again, because this is acacia leaf, this also didn't work. Well, not acacia leaf, but acacia log. So you have to do log two again. So now we have a completely diamond um, block here. Let me get back uh, to where I was. Let me teleport. There we are. And now we can take a picture for the thumbnail and we are all good. This is pretty much all you need to do to replace blocks. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great, wonderful, sublime day and God bless.